Always love working with them. Hopefully Greta and her family can enjoy uh, some barbecue tonight. And then head on outside and see if we can't check out a pretty darn good looking meteor shower. In fact, this could turn into what they call a meteor storm. Basically, it's all based on the number of meteors that come per hour. Uh, the Perseids, which is one of the ones that we get here, we can usually see in the Northwest, usually comes in around 30 to 40 an hour. This one has the potential, potential, mind you, uh, to be coming in about 100 to maybe 200 meteors per hour. That is really going to be firing through. Peak time for us here on the West Coast will be at 11 p.m. through 2 a.m. We'll be monitoring right around news time at 11 tonight, see if we've got that. Uh, starting off in the north sky, basically just radiating out from there, visible in all directions. So get out from the city lights. If you get a chance, the clouds, ah, that's going to be the real uh, issue tonight for some folks, especially as you get out towards the coast, where I think will likely be overcast for most of the night. Otherwise, looking good. Interior so far, quick moving front, zipping on through. Look just to the tail end of this here as you get uh, the beginning of that. A little bit of lightning flashing on through as it works its way across some of the uh, northeastern end of the state. Uh, the low attached to that moving well up in towards uh, central Canada at this point. Front now basically draped from Pendleton down working, uh, let's say, right outside of Klamath Falls. And then back behind that, we've got a little bit of moisture trying to make its way to the shore. That's about it, though. I don't think we'll see a whole lot of trouble from that. Didn't really drop a whole lot of rain either. Only about a, oh, let's say, what, a couple hundredths of an inch in spots. And even look at this bend at 300ths of an inch more than Roseburg and Newport. Don't get to say that that often. All right, big contrast too. Temperatures in the 80s again in Corvallis, 76 in Roseburg, 80s and even upper 80s as you get towards Ontario. A lot of warm air being pushed as well and then cooler to the coast as that cooler air started to move in with the front uh, earlier this afternoon. Overnight tonight, I do think we'll get some breaks within the clouds, although likely as you get in towards 4 or 5 a.m., we'll see the morning clouds start to fill in pretty quickly in the valley. Our stormcast is continuing to pull in some more moisture and fire off a few showers as we get in towards the evening and overnight. I'm not necessarily sold that we'll see that. We'll keep a watch on another storm tracker here. Otherwise, should be fairly quiet throughout the rest of the night and into tomorrow afternoon. We'll start to get a much better looking forecast. All right, so there's another low that we're going to keep a close watch on as well as we head in towards the rest of the weekend forecast. A little bubble of high pressure developing that will scoot in its place for tomorrow. Then that low eventually will swing inland Sunday night into early Monday. So, Overall, not a big washout for our holiday weekend forecast plans. That's the good news. So we'll go mid 60s tomorrow along the coast. Temperatures will be in the uh, well, mid 60s, and then we'll be looking at breezy conditions, partly cloudy skies. Morning clouds, mostly sunny by the afternoon, upper 70s. Looking good up in the mountains as well. If you're going to go camping, remember, still gets pretty chilly. It'll likely be in the mid to upper 30s for overnight lows and should stay dry through Sunday afternoon. Sunny, a bit cooler as you get out in the central Oregon. Nice looking afternoon for us here in the Willamette Valley as well. Heading on to a Saturday market or Duck Softball taking on their first game of Super Regionals tomorrow evening at 7. For the coast, isolated showers Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday. Drying out again as we head in towards early next week. And the Umpqua will be looking at upper 70s the next couple of days, a little cooler. But still, I don't think the rain will be much of an impact at all, even for Memorial Day. Cascades, that's when you'll start to see some of the showers moving through. Might get a pop-up thunderstorm also by Monday. And here in the Willamette Valley, low 70s. That's pretty good weather for tomorrow, that's for sure. And then we'll be looking at mid-60s to start early next week. And then slowly climbing back up to the low 70s again. As I said, most of the rain should be gone by, I'd say, lunchtime, early afternoon for Memorial Day. So later on plans that you have, probably going to be dry. Let's hope oh. those ducks get those softball games in Saturday and then take the second one Sunday so we don't have to worry about that. You don't about have to worry game. about that. That's right. Great. Mm -hmm. All right.